Welcome back to Let's Play Traffic Jive with me, Squawk, and when we left off, well, <coughs> we've almost won. Our company value is now at £26 million. Coverage is at 85%, 50% leisure. Now I just need five more leisure, no, sorry, five more work percentages. We've done the leisure, so what else can I do? Because really, I've pretty much done everything. I mean, I've got train lines, tram lines, bus lines. I've got everything I could ever want in the world right now. As well as a big fat stack of cash, which is just endlessly <laughs> increasing. Um, one place does spring to mind for where I could get some extra peeps for, which would be these offices here. Now, I'm going to check how much I have them, because I haven't really paid any attention to these offices. I've just really been making unintentional money off lines 18 and 14. Which are both, by the way, just doing absolutely fucking awesome. We're looking at two light like, 18s just went there, collected their dues. So, on this one I've got 259 people, so I'm good for there. This one I've got... Oof, God, I've, ne I've nearly taken this one over. Look at that, 203 and only 97 are still using the car. This one, 318. Alright, let's have a look at... Now this... Ah, here we are, fresh meat. 600 people there, and that is going to get a bus line, so let's get a... Stop going. So, where do your peeps come from? They all come from here. All right. I think that we already have a pre-built line for you, Ben. Let's have a let's have a go at building one. So, we start here. We go. I'll be journeying into the centre of the city. So we're going up here, up this road, up this road, down here, and down onto the motorway. Down here by the train tracks. Down, down. Down and then keep going up, keep going up the motorway until there we go. Then we turn, we come down here. There we go. This this should be the actual winning line. God, these train tracks just do so much, by the way. So this will be line number 23, by the way. So let's just quickly pot, um, not pot, we will put some bus stops up, some additional ones. I want one here. And I've got one there. I want one here. And I want one here. And one here. I can afford all the best bus stops now as well. And in terms of what bus I'm going to be using, I'm going to go for an MD Future Tech because they are the most attractive buses that we have. So, yeah. I'll buy two Future Techs and we'll just pop them on this new, shiny new line. <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry about that. So, course, me. there we go. Winner's line. So, here we go. Higgledy Pickledy, Magic, Magic -y Puff. Will these buses make me a lot of fucking money? I'm hoping they will. Those are good buses I've used, powered by the mysterious helmet that we call hydrogen. The very building blocks of the universe. You have to wait at the level crossings. Whatever. Uh, oh. 59 people already. Nice, 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 nice. You know what? Buy an extra bus. Just so I can get one to stop there now. Yay. There we go. Strategic bus placement there, people. Strategic bus placement. So that brings me up to 47%. Nice. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. Line 5. You could use an extra bus, by the way. So I will treat you to a fresh Lieutenant Elephant because you could use one. So line number five, show me the money. Line number five, nope, line number five, come on. Game, I know, the game, the game is lagging like balls now just because of how much shit I earn. Uh, nice to see line 19 still doing okay. You know, it's probably not doing absolutely totally fucking awesome, but eh. I, I, you know what, even if it's losing me money, I'm not even going to give a shit. I've, I've got good shares in these factories. This factory, I don't have shares in. Now, I did try that one rail line with it, and it didn't really work out, like, somehow. And I thought it would, but you know what, I'm going to give it another chance now that we have access to the uh, even better train, the, uh, the NAP40. So, you know what, Let, let's give it another shot, because I just... I, you know, it, this this time it isn't for profit. This time it's just for percentages. So, we'll start no, um, start again. We'll start here, so you can come into the station and down here. I wonder if this line would have been better if maybe it connected to the uh, central uh, rail railway area. Maybe that would have made it a bit more better. But all right, we'll just do it as it is because I, we we are running out of time because we are in the second to last year of the game. So there we go. So let's just give this one a name as well. Uh, 
There we go. Alright, now hopefully we will get someone from here. Hopefully, please. Hey, 77 people. Nice. That is going to push it up. Let's see. Hey, 51%. There it is. The figures are there. 51%. 50% leisure. Holy, <laughs> holy. That is a free star victory, so I'll just wait for the game to announce my victory, but there we go. Even if the game doesn't announce it, I'm going to say bollocks. There we go. The proof is on the paper. Free, hey, there we go. Three stars, so there we go. We finished Lifford. We've beaten the town. So, well, just look at that. A sea of vehicles, a sea of stops. Let's just take a quick look at the place without all that. I mean, just look at that. I mean, even without, look, you can see all my stuff just moving around in my nice red shiny buses. It just looks cool. It looks, it, it really does look cool. Um, so, I guess as we leave off, we'll, we'll do some number crunching and yeah, I'll just quickly give my thoughts on what Lifford was like to work with. And my thoughts with Lifford was, this mission was, even though I got very close to the time limit, I'm, I'm going to say, too easy. Seriously, it was too easy. I mean, we didn't really have that many problems. I mean, uh, the only problems we got was just really trying to keep on top of waiting times, which is something I've more or less pretty much got the mastery of now. Or, you know, if, if you know if the line's getting unhappy, get more buses on it, get more attractive buses on it. Um, well, yeah, and it was fun to play the City Railroad. I mean, I think, basically, if, you, if we remember all the way back in the mists of time, the uh, very first mission of this game, Limington, that town was basically laid out just for, you know, your simple... Um, you know, it's just a simple town, you know, this is a simple town, and go nuts with it, you know, you can easily make a profit off it. Well, I think the thing with Lifford is, Lifford is just basically Limington, just big, because this is the first large map. And, you know, we we will hopefully be playing with more large maps further in the campaign. So, yeah, I think that's what this was, really. This was not more of a test, you know. Here's a large city, what can you do with it? So, and I have shown what I can do with it. I've made, I have made a successful railway network across the city. I have made, you know, bus lines, tram lines. I've completely covered the centre of a city. I've basically given premium stadium transport, work transport, leisure transport. I mean, yeah, I've done it. This was a very easy city, and it was a very enjoyable one. And, you know, I can't wait to use more of these city railroads, and also there's still more stuff down the line to play with. So let's have a look at some number crunching. Then. So company value is just about to exceed £30 million. Pounds, so there we go. I don't think there's going to be a mission in the future right, where I'm ever going to have to worry about company value again. If I can achieve 30 million in 9 years, I have made it. We achieved a total image of 71, so that's good, we're, we're, we're in the pretty high areas of that. We have 24 lines in total, 126 stops, 83 vehicles, and we've transported 301, well, it's going to be 302,000 people now, so there we go, over 300,000 people transported. We cover 86% of the city, uh, we transport 53% of work traffic, 49% of shopping traffic, 35% of school traffic, 53% of leisure traffic, and we have taken over half of the cars off the road, and seriously, look at it, just look at it, you can't even see that many cars now, I mean, let's just zoom in on the motorway, I mean, look, that, that ain't a lot of cars, I mean, Remember, remember this area in the, in the beginning of this mission? It was absolutely jam-packed with cars. It was clogged up. You couldn't move. And now it's just empty. It's, it's almost barren. It's brilliant, brilliant progress. So, yeah, let's do some final number crunches. So, here we are. Here we are. Here's a company balance. So, let's just zoom out. So, I think this sound gets a bit quieter. Um, so, in total, I have spent... 54, oh by the way, um, last, last year I had a profit of 4.7 million, um, so I've spent in total 15 million, nearly 15 and a half million on new vehicles, 1.2 million on new stops, just over half a million in building railway and tram tracks, servicing costs have pushed 8 million, demolition costs 431,000 because I was demolishing people's houses, Salaries, I've paid two and a half million out in driver salaries. Training, 608,000. Advertising cost, 800,000. They peak at 300,000 a year, by the way. Uh, just look at that. My total revenue, though, that blows it all out of water. 44 and a half million total revenue. Just from ticket prices, I haven't used advertising, I haven't used sales of vehicles. I mean, that... I've done it. I've just, I've just fucking done it here. I've just absolutely remoulded of a city into the perfect model of public transportation 
I mean, as we get to the end of this year, we're looked we're looking to probably take in more than we did last year. Probably looking in the in the figures of well, I don't really know how much, and expenses should be equivalent to last year as well. So I think we could probably be pushing a profit of at least five million this year. But that's where we're going to leave it. Um, that was a that was a good mission, a very good performance. So there we go, another mission conquered. So next up is mission nine, I believe. So there we go. We're really getting into this campaign, and well. I'm enjoying it and, it, and you guys, well, you guys have been feeding back, you guys have been enjoying it, so everyone's happy, so I'll see you all on the next episode, so goodbye from Lifford and by the way, 15 million in liquid assets, I think it's time for a holiday.